everyone, it's the Friday. So today I'm going to do more development on the Livewall based uh, calendar I developed. And now let's look into what we have achieved so far. Now this is a very basic calendar without too much interaction for the user. Now what I'm going to do is that at least I want to see two drop down list one for years, other one for months, so that you can choose different months and see the, the correct uh, days of the months. Now let's look into the code base. Let's do it quick. Firstly, you can see here, as we want to see the uh, year and the month drop lists, so that we need two properties, I think, or models one for select selected year, the other one for selected mouse. So this is the, the, the property where we can receive the, the selection on the page by the user. And we use the mount function to give these two properties a default value. Select year, say 2022. Selected month, say 7 July. So select year and the month. Okay. The next thing is uh, years and uh, so if you look into the, the calendar template, the live while template, year and the months are used here to display, display some text, which is not necessary. So I'll change it to uh, years and the months. These are the options that user is able to choose from. So years, say we want to support 2022, 2023, 2024, and the months. So every year, 12 months. It doesn't matter that we hard code here. Okay, the months. Apparently, you will see here there will be something not working. So, year property or months property does not exist anymore. So I will change them to the selected one, selected year, selected months, and uh, scroll down, select the year, selected months. So by using the selected year and the months, I'm able to calculate the days in that month. Okay, now I think we have everything we need and then we can get rid of these two data passed to the template. Then let's go to Lawal calendar template. Now I'm going to add two select elements here. So select, and uh, we want to bind it to bind the model. So this is selected year okay next thing is add the options so we need for each loop years as year or y and for each option value Y and text the same. Y option. Okay, so this is the year drop down list and the months. Pretty similar selected months. And uh, here I say uh, months M. 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 Months. Okay, now we refresh a page on oh, different year. Okay, this is where and what we need to remove. So we don't need this header, H1 element anymore. And we 
refresh it page now you can see here 2022 so a august september c it's working now let's go to google and uh, say 2022 calendar see what we have here now let's just use some <coughs> image here so you can see let's do some quick check july vaguely here you can see july the first is friday so let's see 2022 july the first friday so july has 31 days and so you can see august the first august the first star is it's Monday so you can see the August 1st is Monday so 31 days and then let's check November November starts from Tuesday November so from Tuesday you see here it's a slightly hard to recognize but you can see here so November uh, can we see it? Yeah, November 2022, November starts from Tuesday. So the week starts from Sunday in this calendar. So it's slightly different. So anyway, November the 1st is Tuesday. So November the 1st, Tuesday. So it's pretty reactive. So not much code change I have done so far, but it has already supports the the reactivity and the user is able to select the year and the month now let's change 2023 let's see 2023 calendar how about we check here 2023 calendar and then November start from Wednesday Wednesday yeah it's correct so basically the, it, it functions very well the other thing I like to, to change is to get rid of one more data item in passing to the calendar template here. One thing is that, so if you see here, get days in months, what if I get rid of this data, will it still work? Definitely not, so on find variable days. So we are going to use what's called the computed property in LiveWire. So if you see here, computed properties. So this is how you can define the computed properties. So start from start with get keyword and the property. What do you like to whatever you like to name it, and uh, ends with property keyword. So between get and property, this is the. Uh, that is the, the, the property you, you are going to define as computer property. And uh, now let's come back here. Uh, one more thing you need to see is public. So this is a public function. Then yeah, this is the way you can define get days property. Let's make this simpler. Get days property. Okay. Now let's come back. Properties. Property. Yeah, get this property. So let's come back to the live while component here. They instead of looping the days variable, we are going to use this the property, the days property of the, this instance. So now I think it should work out of the box. Yes. So 2022. Let's come back to 2022. Now you can see January start from Saturday. Let's go January from Saturday. February starts on Tuesday. February starts on Tuesday, so it works. And the 2022 in 2022 February just have has 28 days. So and you see here February 28 days. Okay, so now it's working you are able to select any year and the months so that calendar can show you the the days 
of the week and the, the, all the days in the month. Okay, I think that's it for the day. I'm going to submit the code so that you can review and uh, take it as an example. Okay, that's it for today. I'm going to add more features to this component. Stay tuned. If you feel it's useful, remember to thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.